Hank. Welcome to another edition of Hockey Extra. My name is Matt O'Neill. Like you, I'm a hockey parent. Like you, I'm a moron. You go in to get your kids skate sharpened and they say, how would you like them done? And you say, uh, what, sharp? Apparently there's more to it. Cliff has the answer. He's the greatest skate sharpener in Calgary from Stick Fix. I know that because he told me. Let's go to school. Here we are, we're gonna learn about sharpening skates. This guy knows his stuff. Awesome hockey player from the past. Look at this picture. And he actually did play with the Hanson brothers. And he made them, apparently, look like the Sedin sisters. Apparently you were that good. <laughs> yeah. You also told me you're that good at sharpening skates. What do I need to know when I walk in and say, hey, sharpen my kids' skates? Well, thanks for that introduction. I should have kept my head up a little more. <laughs> Anyway, uh, th this uh, skate right here, we're going to determine firstly if it needs sharpening. I'm just going to look at the, uh, the blade and number one, find out if it's straight. There's no use sharpening a crooked blade. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to put my fingers and thumb down the blade like I'm doing and I want you to run it down and just tell me if you think that blade is uh, sharp or dull. Sharp, because I'm scared to do it. <laughs> You're afraid of the injury, eh? <laughs> All right, Cliff, I'm, we're sharpening skates, but there's a huge fish right behind your little machine or whatever it is. What is that? Well, you got to hear my fish story. Okay. Wait till I go into this for you. That's interesting. So okay. a kid, normally, you come in, what do you ask for? For, like I say, a five to ten-year-old. Right. Well, they're called players, too. They all have different weights. It's, mm -hmm. it's personal preference. Um, really, the sky's the limit. Here at this shop here, we do 70% half-inch. Okay. Probably the other two hollows, three-eighths and five-eighths, 15% uh, each. All right, Cliff, let's fire this up. You do that. It's perfect. Every pass at uh, Stick Fix, I was taught by Jamie Wilson, an ex graph guy that's uh, just fantastic with skates. We only do our first three or four passes from finger to finger, right from here to here. There's no use taking a whole bunch of steel off the toe and the heel. Uh, we need the toe for sure when you're pushing off and you see way too many blades that the toe and the heel are actually just mangled from over sharpening. So the first three or four passes I do will be just in that range that I mentioned. And when you hear a sound like that, Matt, mm -hmm. that is a good sound. Sometimes they can be a little creaky and cranky and rigidy, but that's a real nice sound for um, a real good hollow. Mm -hmm. What they've invented, whoever invented it was a genius, it's called a quick square. Just say you invented it. Uh, I, I thought of inventing it, but mm -hmm. somebody got to it just a little before me. All right. So anyway, you clamp it into the skate and you put it on and uh, it will tell you if the skate is flat. Now how about those, you know, the, the keep going please, the stones that the, you know, parents have in the dressing room or those Y? Yeah sharpeners that why yay, yay or nay well there's um you know they will keep an edge on a on a blade mm -hmm. but the problem is they take the corner edge off and you'll get a different edge and it's not bad for upright skating right. but once you start if it's on a forward skate and they're skating really low and hard they actually could end up on their rear end so it doesn't replace this not a, not even close and actually i think my recommendation is you're better off having a honing stone and if there's a problem with the blade, try the honing stone first along the, uh, the blade. And uh, at last resort, if it's really notched bad or scarred bad, then you gotta go to that Y stick. All right. So this is for my last pass. My last pass, I'm gonna go from toe to heel. This is a lubricant. And this is to get out all the imperfections in the last pass. Take out any fish scaling in the uh, blade and make it as efficient as possible so there's the least amount of friction uh, when a player is playing. So I go right from toe to heel, and notice I didn't take a whole lot of steel off the toe or the heel. And I go real slow on the last pass, and I will let you be the test of this. You look down on there. And, and do what you, do the... Not quite yet. You tell me if there's any fish scaling in there. No, I the can't. fish scaling's right. Yeah, well, we, you didn't yeah. want to talk about that. Yeah. I know it probably differs from uh, different players, but after how many would you say for a, for a kid, after how many games or practices should they think about getting the blade sharpened? Okay, that's a real good question. I know. And it's, uh, 
it's always asked and it's different again for different mm -hmm. players, different sizes, different skating styles, defenseman versus forward. Uh, I'd say the minimum you should ever get your skate sharpened is maybe three times. And actually I've got uh, customers here that'll play 15 times. So again, the sky's the limit. It's personal choice. Now, I just want you to run both your finger and thumb along that blade to tell me that I've got all that edging off. Yes, <laughs> that's good. <laughs> thank you for checking out Hockey Extra. And thank you, Cliff. Yeah, Great thanks job. very much. Really enjoyed Stick you Fix. guys. Uh, check out stickfix.com. Do I have that right? That's now, correct. I owe you, because there's two, two kids' skates. How oh. much? Well, there's a recession. I can't take any money today. Okay. Things are tough. Oh, well. Holy mackerel. How about a hockey life? A discount life card for skate sharpening. From Hockey Life. Do you take those? Well, thanks, but no thanks. Is Cliff gone? Okay, guys. How tough could this actually be? Hey, guys. I think that uh, went pretty well. Thumbs up. I say... I have no idea. There's Murphy's Law for you right there. <laughs> come on in, come on in. Come on in. The greatest skate sharpener in Calgary from Fix Sticks. Stick Dicks. <laughs> okay, we go again. We've already done four passes there. I'll probably See, do that it. kid hasn't done three passes no. <laughs> in his life. No. We got the fish going right through Matt's head. So. Nice. Holy bites. You look like Steve Martin. <laughs> you have with the arrow. Yeah. Or the chicken. <laughs> Do you take these? Oh, if you opened up your heart, your, uh, or your so. shirt, your heart would fall out. No, but thanks very much for the offer anyway. <laughs> That's a great line.